right into WDSU's first warning weather forecast, and we're going to get you that New Year's Eve, New Year's Day forecast. But before that's here, got to talk about the cold that's coming in. Did you happen to catch that sunset, though? Clouds starting to break at the right time, and that sky was on fire. Check out some of the Facebook posts I had and maybe Instagrams or maybe even the Twitter or the X account, too. Overcast skies for the better part of it, but right during sunset, just at about 5 o'clock, those skies started to break, and the sky looked absolutely gorgeous. 63 what we hit for a high, 49 the low. That is almost a just picture-perfect average day for the time of the year. Normal highs and lows, 63 and 47. We were almost just there. Other highs across the region, everybody into the 60s. The only persons who weren't. It's Biloxi, Mississippi in 59 degrees today. Real time temps already starting to drop into 40s in some spots. The winds not as strong. The winds are still up a little bit. We're into the 50s. The real chill begins. when We'll find the winds ramping up, but that is expected to happen later on tonight. Right now, some winds around five miles per hour. The winds not as strong as I just showed. That's allowing those temperatures to cool quickly. But what's going to happen when those winds do get even stronger? It's actually going to push in the even colder air. So what we've got is this Arctic front that is finally making its way through is this system is finally making its way east. So get ready because the cold is coming. If there's great news. Well, there's a lot of sunshine coming in. Maybe if you're one of those who's not a fan of the cold, then that's the bad news part of this forecast. Watch the clouds start to continue to clear overnight and you see those longer wind arrows. Those are stronger north winds. So we're down to mid 30s north shore tomorrow and close to freezing, but I don't think you're frosty because of the winds that should keep that from forming. Some upper 30s to 40s south shore where we bottom out. And those winds up at around 10 miles per hour tomorrow morning, but could be 10 to 15. And when you factor in cold temperatures below 50 degrees and a wind, that's a wind chill. It makes it feel even colder than the actual air temperatures. So we could feel like 20s and 30s and 40s tomorrow morning. Plenty of sunshine, maybe a cloud or two. So I call it mostly sunny tomorrow, but highs only into the 50s. That means we're rising through 30s and 40s to get to those 50s with a northwest wind 10 to 20. It's still a chilly day and the air temp's always taken in the shade. I feel small craft advisories could go up for Lake Pontchartrain tomorrow. We could find those winds could be up to 20 knots, so be careful. And the winds will get stronger even on the open waters. But by Friday, we could be freezing to some of the spots in the south shore who haven't gotten to freezing yet. So that's a weather impact day when you combine the winds feeling even colder. I don't think we're freezing here in New Orleans. Let's be clear. We get to about 37, 38 Friday and Saturday morning. There's Friday. We're looking at temperatures still only into the mid 50s. Winds still at about 10 to 20. So at least it looks gorgeous, but let's focus in on the New Year's Eve weekend. Saturday is still cold to start, chilly during the day. By Sunday, temperatures start to recover as we tap into south winds. and We'll start to warm back up, getting back to our average high for the time of the year. Low to mid 60s. Should feel a lot better after the cold we're getting through, especially with a decent amount of sun. So the Sugar Bowl Parade right here on WDSC at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, low to mid 60s, ringing in the new year. There's a chance rain's moving our way, but I think it holds off till maybe just after we're ringing in the new year. But early morning hours, New Year's Day, rain's looking likely, but moving out as a lot of the activities ramping up for the Sugar Bowl start to begin. So my New Year's Eve forecast has 50s, clouds coming, but the rain moving in, maybe after we get some fireworks or celebrations in at the midnight hour. New Year's Day is still 60s before the next round of the cold starts to filter in. So for the game, the morning hours could deal with rain early and then 60s recovering as the clouds still hold, but just cloudy in 50s holding on. And we could deal with another round of rain by the middle of next week. But the WDSU first warning weather seven day forecast is all about the chill the next two days. Weather impact days for those who haven't had a freeze yet and watching that rain New Year's Day morning.